Welcome to SpiderWeb GIS Management Tutorial for Basic Users. You can use any browser except Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge. The preferred browser is Google Chrome for PC and Safari for Mac supports. The access is through Aglisat website. The access button is on the top right corner. Once you press the button, if you are a registered user, just introduce your keys. If you want to register, contact to Agrisat writing an email to info at agrisat.es. SpiderWeb GIS is an online application based on geographic information system technologies, where, in addition to vector layers information, temporal series of satellite or aerial geoference images can be displayed and analyzed. There are five working areas location, layers, range of dates and pixel grid, the map, and the result display of time series data. Just click on the logout button. You will return to Agrisat website. In this moment, you can return to SpiderWeb GIS directly. It uses Google Maps search engine. Just write the location name and then select exactly what you want in the suggested list. If you send to Agrisat any shape file with plots grouped by farm and you indicate us the farm name, we can display them in a combo box. The steps are, make a maximum zoom to any area. It doesn't matter where it is. Select the coordinate projection. Introduce the coordinates, having in count the following criteria. The decimal symbol is the point. If the X coordinate is west, you have to put the minus symbol before the coordinate. If the Y coordinate is south, you have to put the minus symbol before the coordinate. In SpiderWeb GIS, satellite data information is open to any satellite. As baseline information, the system mainly shows images from two satellites, Landsat 8 from NASA and Sentinel-2 from European Space Agency, which are the sources of free data thanks to the liberalization of its images. In this table, you can see the main characteristics of these two satellites and their images. Among them, we include the spatial resolution. 30 meters for Landsat 8 versus 10 meters from Sentinel 2. And the maximum temporal resolution, 16 days from Landsat 8 versus 10 days from Sentinel 2. The basic products that we build from these images are two. Normalized Difference Vegetation Index, NDVI, that is a quantitative product which value is related with the fraction of green vegetation cover of the area covered by a pixel. In an agricultural context, the range of NDVI values will be from 0.15, which corresponds to bare soil, to 0.91, 
which corresponds to a maximum green vegetation cover, in example, a dense alfalfa. Color composition, which is a qualitative product, where the image has been manipulated in order to highlight vegetation above other type of objects. There are two types of layers. The main group of layers, pectoral, NDVI, and color composition, and the group of layers used as a special reference, based on Google. These layers are shown as a background in order to have spatial reference in the map. How to display a layer? Just marking the checkbox. How to activate a layer? Clicking on the layer name. How to reorder a layer? The order of layers is relevant. You always see the layers that are on the top. You can reorder the layers using these buttons and the layer that will be moved is the active layer. Transparency tool. You can play with the transparency of the active layer, making it possible to visualize the layer immediately below. The affected layer will be the active layer. Styles. There are some layers, like the NDVI, that are a classification map. In this type of layers, you can display the map legend. You can change the displayed legend by selecting it from a catalog combo box. The affected layer will be the active layer. Google switch button. To activate or deactivate Google Layers, you need to have disabled this option in order to change the map projection. It will be necessary to measure distances on the map and to add WMS layers from remote servers. The map area. Above the map you can see the date of the image displayed and the projection on datum. And inside the map there is a toolkit to manage the map. Day displayed, by default, is the latest image published in the system. You can choose the day displayed using the calendar. There is another way of changing this date through the chart. Projection and datum. As I've said before, you need to disable Google layers in order to change the map projection. It will be necessary to measure distances on the map and to add WMS layers from remote servers. The map toolkit. You have zooming buttons. Zoom to all, to the selected layer, zoom plus, zoom minus. You can go backward or forward in the view history. You have buttons to query map elements, pixels or vectorial elements. The queries will always be referred to the active layer. Static info. For non-temporary layers or to make a query to a temporary layer, but only referred to the day displayed. Temporal info. Only for temporary layers and based on the selected date range. Distant Measurer. Remember that you need to deactivate Google Layers. The map shown can be captured as a georeferenced file and can be downloaded. As we have seen in the last chapter, the system is ready for queries on the information layers. At this point, we have to distinguish between the static info and the temporal info. Static info is referred to a layer that is not a temporal layer, in example, a vector layer. 
If I select a vectorial object using the Info tool, the system will show me the attributes of the selected object in a pop-up window. In the same way, if I select a pixel on the image using the Info tool, the system will show me the value of the selected pixel in a pop-up window referred to the date of the displayed image. Don't forget that previously you have to activate the layer that you want to query. By the other hand, temporal info is referred to temporal layers. In example, a time series of satellite images layer. If I select a pixel using the temporal info tool, the system will show me the values of the selected object in the results area below the map area. The time series data is based on the selected date range. The possibility of temporary data queries required to be set a date range. By default, the final date will be the date of the latest image published in the system. The initial date will be just six months before the final date. You can choose the initial or final date using the calendars. Or you can select directly the maximum date range. This information is linked to the active layer, so you have to activate a temporal layer. In example, NDVI or color composition previously. Pixel grid. By the other hand, you can choose the pixel grid. This allows to decide the number of pixels in which will be held consultations on the map. For example, if I choose 3 by 3, the result will be the mean of the selected pixel and the 8 pixels around. By default, it's one by one. This tool is useful to determine the mean value of large areas. The results of the temporary queries will be displayed in two ways, in a table and in a chart. This area is relevant in the driving of the application because there is a close relationship between the management of this area and the management of the map. The chart. It allows us to represent time series data queries for temporary layers. The chart is interactive, so that allows us to zoom in, in the range of dates. I interpolate data. Accumulate data. Edit data in the chart and in the table. Add new time series data, even other parameters. Change the date and the image displayed on the map. The chart can be captured and can be downloaded. The table. As in the chart, the table allows us to display time series data queries from temporary layers, where each time series is represented in a column. The table is also interactive, so that allows us to delete and make invisible the time series data queries in the chart and in the map. Reset the queries. The table can be exported as an Excel file and can be downloaded.
Transversely, you can make a statistical analysis of the time series data queries. The statistics will be shown in both types of data representation. Disable the data labels. Change the interpolation approach. How to make a temporary query? Search the location. Active the layer to query. Define a date range. Select a pixel grid. Select the temporal information tool on the map toolkit. Click on the map area you want to check. The time series will be represented in the result area, in a chart and in a table. How to display a satellite image of a selected location? Make a temporary query of the selected location as is explained in the previous section. Into the chart, select the date you want to display, clicking in the corresponding point of the time series data. From SpiderWeb GIS, you can connect with remote map servers and display its information on the map. And whether, if it's possible, you can make queries to these remote layers using SpiderWeb GIS info tools. Deactive Google layers. Change the projection and datum system, selecting the most typical system of the display area. Then Press Insert Layer. Press WMS button. And finally, select or search a WM server. Deactivate Google Layers. Change the projection and datum system, selecting the most typical system of the displayed area. In example, WGS84 UTM Zone 30N, that corresponds to Spain. Select the Measure button in the Map Toolkit. Click on the origin point on the map. If you want to measure a perimeter, make a click on each vertex of the polygon. To end the measure, just do double click. Sport in the map. Click on the top left corner button above the map. Select Display Dimensions. Select Georeferenced to download the image Georeferenced if you want to display it in other Geographic Information System application. Exporting the chart.
Click on the top left corner button above the table. Exporting the table to an Excel file. Select the Excel icon above the table.